Dustin, yes. it's great to have you. <laughs> we're doing this in a little bit of a rewind, but yeah, thank we're doing you for a little, coming. A little backwards here, <laughs> yeah. but I can assure you, everything you're about to see is really amazing. Thank you guys for having of me. Of course. Today we're gonna be pulling my Duggar X into the bay and getting dirty a little bit. This car came in yep. pretty disgusting, but <laughs> the, uh, the final product is pretty amazing. So what are we doing today? Yeah, so we're gonna go through, we're gonna give it a nice wash. We're gonna inspect the finish, see where it's at, and then make some decisions from there paint correction, give it an extra little pop after that, and then send you on your way home. Amazing, I am super excited. So for those of you guys that might not know, we freshly painted my WX a custom color, which is pretty amazing. Um, and after that fresh paint job, we wanted to come in here, get it all corrected, make sure it cures properly, and get it nice and cleaned up to really give it that shine. You guys see us constantly using Meguiar's product, and I like to call them almost accessory products. Today we're going full stem with WX and getting into the bigger products, getting this thing fully corrected, especially because it's right after a full paint job. So what better way to do that than to come to actual Meguiar's and get it done here. What are we gonna be using for today's wash? Well, we're, start, we're gonna start with the wheels. Because these are so delicate, they've got multi-finishes on them. But if you look beyond that, look at the brake components, the rotors, the hats, the calipers, all that is super sensitive. So we grabbed our hot rims aluminum wheel cleaner because it's pH balanced and it's not gonna damage anything. We're using our citrus power cleaner here to get up into these wheel wells. And actually also work on that tire. You know, tire is a different material than all of this different components here. So it takes a little bit different cleaner, so. That combined with a great wheel brush, winner, winner. Cleaning your wheels and your tires can definitely be a chore, uh, but with the right products and the right tools, uh, it makes the job a lot easier. Also having some patience for it too certainly helps. With Dustin's car getting its first wash, we really wanted to make sure that we got into all the nooks and crevices, especially with this Ferris wide body kit. There's just a lot of areas to get into. Again, right tools, right products, makes the washing process really easy. All right, Dustin, we just gave it its first official wash. First wash in a, a very long, even yep. pre-new paint job, uh -huh. like first wash in a really long time. Nice. Surprisingly, even now, just getting that first layer of dust mm -hmm. and grime off mm -hmm. makes the paint more vibrant. I'm really curious to see what it looks like when they like fully inspect it. For sure. Um, I think it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, so that's the next step. We're gonna go check it, check it out under some lights, figure out what's right for this paint job that's still relatively fresh. So no wax, but how can we dial this thing in? We're really loving the new HQ we've got here. Just being able to easily move from the wet bay to kind of the detailing area is really nice. Mm. Nice. It looks so good. Now that the car is washed, kind of inspected a little bit, found some swirls, some other blemishes within the paint. What's the process next for us? So we went through, did a test spot with our new Pro Speed polish. Fortunately, we were able to get the light swirls out and then have a really good finish in one step with our microfiber finishing pad. It's literally gonna be like a one step polish Amazing. is really all it needs. I can't wait to get it out in the sun. It's like gonna in, look insane. Yeah. So why are you wearing a camping light? This allows you to see exactly what you're doing in the moment so you don't have to stop, grab a light, check. You know, because sometimes there's certain scratches that just need a little bit more, you know, time on the machine to get out. So this you can kind of see in real time. It just helps save you a little bit of, of time. So that's why a lot of guys Hands free. run a headlamp. <laughs> Hands free. It's another hand, you know? I like it.
Dustin's obviously a pro here, but it's always nice to get people in here and teach them how to use the machine. So paint glosser, you literally spray right on the microfiber, and then you're gonna work it in really so you're not rubbing hard. You're simply spraying it almost like a, a sprayable polish that's gonna make even more darker. Flip your towel <laughs> and just come back and check that out. I get it, I get it, that's good. That's good, yeah. And then you're gonna wanna see that film that you're spreading and working, and you're just wiping it on flipping that towel over, and you'll feel it just buff right off. Oh, yeah. See it? I do. See, it has a little bit of a buttery feel to it. I like it. Man, this product is so good. Uh, since its launch, it's quickly become a favorite around here. We are oh so close. I mean, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel and not only see the, the metallic the in this, but we're so close. Is ridiculous. It looks good. From the first wash, I was like, all right, <laughs> this is for the, how does it get better from here? Yes. Then we did some inspection. We saw some swirls. We got those out. It looked fantastic. But you guys topped it off with the paint glosser, mm -hmm. which is, it's insane. The shine, like I told you, it's like the gloss or the glass look. It's crazy. And that's all we did, M200. Uh, insane shine paint gloss. You yeah. said the word was insane. It's perfect. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we'll do some windows, wrap it up, and put some M40 on the tires. Give it a quick vacuum, clean windows, and, and I can't wait to see it outside. Me too. That looks good here, but I want to see the sun just make these right. this paint sparkle. What time? We got a couple hours till sunset. We got about Let's get two and a half done. hours. Let's yes. Get it done. Let's we'll do it. There. Man after her own heart. Look what is in for the back seat. If I'm stranded, I have my water and I have my Meguiar. I'm gonna go red. I love it. I'm a red guy. That's a great color. Should I go right there or up here? The car looks amazing. I was telling Mike from beginning to end. Thank you for bringing in the car. We love working on it. We love being a part of this dream of yours yeah. since you got it to get it to where it's at now and to give it its first uh, first polish. Uh, yes. Out into the sun and see what it looks it's like. It's crazy. Yeah. Now it's like what I had imagined in my head was this car. Now that finishing touch is making everything come together and pop and really shine like the awesome build that it is. It's great having Dustin and his WRX out here. Thank you for making it this far into the video. Drop a comment below. Let us know what other kind of vehicles would you like to see come through the bay.